Once guys, once you are visiting the Philippines, you may experience quite a surprising thing, which was surprising for me, that one of the activities Filipinos like to do are basketball, boxing and watching pig and shows, like beauty shows, even men. <laughs> I can't really see boxing everywhere. But that's our national sport. It's because Manny Pacquiao won as the world champion, world boxing champion, and that's the reason why we love boxing. But it's, I would say, it's not super common compared to basketball and pageant shows. Nice. Yeah. And for today's video, me with Gwen decided to perform one of those activities. And we had to pick. Of course, we cannot do boxing because it would not be fair. <laughs> but sometimes Filipina really deserves a punch. Mm -hmm. And me too. <laughs> so you will punch me? Never. The another thing, pig and shows. Pageant it, shows. Pageant shows. <laughs> it would not be fair either because I would not fit to any dress. <laughs> So the only one which is left is basketball. So that Saturday we packed our things and went to the basketball playground to try if Filipinos have basketball skills. Mm -hmm. Did I have? Should you should know. <laughs> we'll see in the video guys. You can comment if I am very good at it or not. <laughs> And, and for those who are new to this channel, welcome! We are Filipina Checking, Jacob, Gwendy, and we make videos of any kind. Mm -hmm. If you like our videos, hit the like and subscribe button and we will move on. Come on, let's play. It's always hitting me. <laughs> oh. Score. Hey. So close, no bread, you know. Between between legs. <laughs> And now when the warm-up is done, <laughs> we can move to the next stage. On to... <laughs> oh yeah, one thing about here in Czechia is that every villages they have their own exercise equipment. Like playground with exercises, like they are building it for everyone. Yeah, That's also... and it's free to use, you can come anytime, any day and have a free workout. Free workout. It's not really like you have the equipment just like in the gym, but it's more than enough. Here, one try. And full up. Muscle up. Full up? Yeah. 
Ooh. <laughs> This is one of the hardest exercises. Exercises. It's like a king of all. I'm warm up already. You can try. <laughs> Jump rope. I will share with you our workout today so you can try as well. So first we had 50 regular squats, then three to six pistol squats supported or just with your own body weight. And the last one was wall sit for one minute or 50 seconds. He's waiting. 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 Coming and the whole exercise is done, and you are just talking, chatting. And for example, Gwen is having rest between sets for already like 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. Yes, I'm tired. I'm tired. Takže ideálně, tak já to raz zrovnu zbalím. We decided to do some body weight exercises and so on, but. It ended totally opposite. We did not end doing exercise, but we ended in a pub. That's the thing which is not really surprising here in Czech. You may feel very motivated, very disciplined to go to do your exercise, but there can be just one little distraction, which happened to us. Two people came over and our <laughs> exercise was over. And instead of exercising, but we ended up talking yeah and drinking beer later in the pub yeah and sold us but till it was great i was happy yeah yeah but two people came <laughs> when was happy because two people came because <laughs> she was already tired from basketball and then exercise and then exercise and the two boys were torturing me <laughs> to do exercise <laughs> you did not want it by yourself no through the video you can see how our body looks like for those who could see us or for those who would see us for the first time they would think like Gwen is very fitness person she has a good performance like that but the opposite is true as well me the one who looks like and who is fat and like that has more durability and strength and can last more and the one who look fitness nice with abs mm -hmm. but abs <laughs> the another thing i would like to mention is about the gear and equipment you are required to have for doing some sports when i was playing maybe some of you noticed i was playing barefoot because i had just sleepers and it's more comfortable and safer to play without the sleepers. To? It's say. safer to play without... Oh yeah, it's okay. It's correct. It's correct. Uh, it is correct. <laughs> Nobody was wearing like high class branded clothes, just the casual clothes. My t-shirt even had holes on it, which brings me to the another thing. Maybe some of you will not agree with me, but for doing any kind of sports, the expensive clothes or shoes or equipment will not 
necessarily make you better in that actions yeah filipino guys are even like just without are topless when they're playing basketball in the Philippines. Yeah, and that's the thing which is like interesting and I I encountered many times in the gym. Like when I go to the gym, I really just have just I really have just like simple shoes, simple t-shirt, simple something. But on the other hand, there are many people like me and on the other hand, many people who like to wear those branded clothes, everything like that. And the thing I'm totally fine with that. Anyone can wear whatever they want, but what I can see, like those people wearing those branded clothes, everything, they are looking on people like me from the top, like with arrogance like that. But having t-shirt for 2K or 50 will not really make you lift more or lift heavier weight only in your brain but what i really believe those people who who prioritize having those nice clothes everything it can really change your mindset and you can literally lift more if you feel comfortable you can feel more motivated everything you can really lift heavier but for me personally it doesn't work if i would be wearing expensive or cheap t-shirt i will still live the same i think that all matters here because when i was going to the gym in the philippines people doesn't care what they wear in there they even just got something like for example t-shirt and they're cutting the edge part of it oh, because it's hot in the philippines yeah but it doesn't matter like you know they can just buy those kind of gym clothes but they don't care in there Maybe there are some people who are wearing proper gym clothes, but most of them that I notice men are not really putting extra effort to their clothes. I do put extra effort to my clothes when I go to the gym. <laughs> because that makes me comfortable as well. It reminds me one quote, like, it is connected with alcohol, like, People who don't drink always ask, why do you drink alcohol? You cannot have fun without alcohol. Like, yes, of course I can, but with alcohol it's easier. And exactly the same thing can say those people with like branded clothes, expensive clothes for work, for exercising, for doing some sports. Like, yes, of course I can do that activity in the cheap clothes, but the expensive clothes make it better. <laughs> I think that doesn't make sense for me because even if me the person who likes fashions but I don't really care if it's branded or not I don't really even have much branded clothes most of them are fast fashion because it's more uh, affordable for me and I like the style so that's what really matters but I also know one person that she was my like same age as me and we were studying the same university but she doesn't really like buying those okay okay or thrifted store thrifted clothes as well as fast fashion or textile clothes she wants those branded clothes it's because that means you, you are more valuable as what they believe in the philippines you are more valuable person if you're wearing branded branded clothes and that really defines who you are in in terms of financial status which i don't really agree with it with that and that's the thing which still i would say most of the world will think like once you have branded clothes you are on the higher financial state but it doesn't have to be true always and this brings me to the another quote which said emma watson you have family to feed not society to impress remember yeah, but I'm wearing clothes just to impress myself. That's what women say always. Yeah, of course. <laughs> to impress me. I like seeing myself beautiful in front of the mirror. Not to impress people, but to impress myself. Yeah. But that's also the thing that people cannot understand, especially men, about women. Yes, a woman will not understand man things. Yeah. And that's all and here we are thank you guys for watching this video if it was nice for you hit the like and subscribe button if you have questions drop it down in the comment sections we are willing to answer those 
and thank you so much for staying tuned in our youtube channel see you again next time bye bye